Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm John from Tennis Companion, and today I'm walking you through the different parts of a tennis racket. If you're just getting started with tennis, it's beneficial to have a thorough understanding of the different parts of a tennis racket. Not only will it help you in buying your first racket, but it'll also help increase your confidence when speaking about them with friends, teammates, and coaches. It's worth noting that we're not going to dive into the specs of a racket today, which are related but different. The parts of a racket refers to the name of each component, which all rackets share, while the specs refer to the measurable nuances which make each racket unique, like the racket's weight. We'll save that for another video. With that said, let's get started with the bottom of the racket. The butt cap refers to the piece of plastic that increases the size or flares out the bottom of a racket's handle, which helps ensure the racket stays put in a player's hand. Some butt caps have removable trap doors which can be popped off and is a useful location for adding material to customize a racket's weight. While the butt cap refers to the piece of plastic at the end of a racket's handle, the butt refers more generally to the bottom of the handle. The handle refers to the entire length of the area where a player places their hand to hold the racket. It's covered with a thick and durable grip to protect the player's hand from the rough surface of the handle, while also providing traction that prevents the racket from slipping. At the top of the handle, you'll find a piece of grip tape that is used to secure the grip. And in some cases, rackets will come with a rubber collar that fits over the top of the grip tape for extra security. It may also be used to quickly secure an overgrip. You'll also notice the handle of a racket features eight sides or bevels, which help prevent the racket from twisting or rotating in a player's hand. They also serve as useful guides when learning how to grip a racket. The shaft is the part of the racket between the head and the handle, which will either have an open or closed throat. Older wooden rackets typically feature closed throats, while virtually all modern rackets have open throats as does this racket. Moving up the frame, the head refers to the entire oval portion of the racket, which is where the strings are installed. The rim of a tennis racket refers more specifically to the outside edges of a racket's head, much like the edge of a cup. While the beam of a racket refers to its side, which may be thicker or thinner depending on the model. Around the racket's head, you'll find plastic grommet strips. These are inserted through the side of the frame so that the strings are protected from the sharp edges of the holes that are drilled to allow the strings to pass through. The individual barrels or tunnels along the grommet strip that are inserted through the drilled holes of the frame are each individually referred to as grommets. Over time, a grommet can break down or become frail, so they may require replacement. At the top of a racket's head, you'll find a bumper guard, which helps protect this area and the strings as it periodically scrapes or comes in contact with the cord. If your bumper guard wears down, you should consider replacing it to help protect and prolong the life of your racket. The strings are a thin piece of material installed throughout the head of a racket. The strings running vertical are the mains, while the strings running horizontal are the crosses. When woven together, the vertical mains and the horizontal crosses form the face of the racket. If you'd like some extra detail, including a diagram of the different parts of a tennis racket, don't forget to check out my article. I'll be sure to drop a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.